Welcome back guys to another video on Cooper Space Program. This is episode 4 of the designs of the week and I'm going to show a VTOL or a couple of them. So here we have Bus VTOL Mark 1. Daytime. Here it is. Okay, SAS. Throttle up. And look at that. And then obviously retract the smoky bays and that's all this thing does yeah hello oh I'm in the middle and that happens sometimes so you just throttle down like that make sure you fall down that's what you want to happen and maybe I'll just fast forward let's see ourselves fall down this thing doesn't have any wings on it, I don't think. Let's check. Not, no invisible wings. It's wingless. Now we throttle up, slow ourselves down. There we go. It's working quite nicely. How easy. And let's try turning. I haven't tried this before. <laughs> it's actually fairly easy. Obviously, you can't turn while you're really close to the ground, otherwise, you most likely smash. Whoa. Turn off the engines here. Okay. Do that. Throttle up. Full throttle. Let's just turn off the back engine, see what happens. And fast forward. Whoa. Throttle up. down so we can actually go down look at that wow it says we're going like 22 meters per second down and then we throttle up and then we're going up about 22 meters per second okay that's gonna smash Okay, next one. Now this is Bus VTOL Mark II. The only difference is this one is made for speed going forward. And let me show you. So first of all, this back engine will start up. Right, and I've adjusted the position of this front basic jet engine compared to the Mark I version. That's what happens there. So that's gonna go. And Compress spacebar now to activate the other engines. And look at that. So this thing's made for speed, this one. Look how fast we're going already. It's much, much faster. Let's see what happens if we turn off that. <laughs> yeah. That's normal. But we're still going forward, which is great. Okay, next one. Now, if you've ever played any of the Halo games, then you should know of a machine called the Ghost. And this is where I got the idea from for this design. And what we do here is throttle up to about just as like I'm doing. Just copy if you're using the exact design as I got here. Still, what I'm doing, and you should be fine. Text position. And I organized it in the action groups for, so that the front gi bays will retract instead of the back one. Look at that. If I do that, the front ones retract. And look at that, we are flying. The front part is 
just like that. See? That's that's sort of like what the ghost does. I try to copy it as best as I could. And if you throttle down, bad things will happen. And I do have a lot of wings in here. Let me tell you, look. There are wings in here. There are a couple. That's why we're going so straight. And if I turn off the engine, that happens. If I throttle up, that happens. So it's nice and easy. I think it works out very well. I wouldn't try landing it. Actually, I haven't even tried that because most of the time I crash. Uh, engine, fuel wasted. Um, yeah, this thing doesn't work as well without these Rocket Max engines here. The jet engine, I don't think is enough. Because right now we are falling down. Okay, let me use some temporary cheats here. Just for the sake of the video. Okay, turning is not easy. Okay. Well, we got. Well, we got. <laughs> and. Oh, turn off the engine here. So we can point our nose down. Okay. Throttle up a bit. Oh, shit. Nose up, nose up, nose up. G. 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 Oh. Oh. I count that as if it made it. I think it worked well. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of uh, Deadlines of the Week, Episode 4. Uh, next episode, I have JN Aircraft. PIN and Rocket Powered VTOL Mark II. So that's next episode. So see you next time.